音音音音音音音音音音音音音音音音音音音The song means a lot to Georgians. A lot of Georgian readers have commented. And I, I know that you know that. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs>、uh, the song? It's very patriotic, isn't it?、Mm. This is not only patriotic.、Uh, the patriotic song, this is because we have the problem,、oh, such kind of problem for the power I'm singing in this song in my country. So it becomes the patriotic song. And the problem is that in 21st century, people don't need any barbed wires or any, any such artificial barriers between each other. So we call for Europe and call for all over the world to stand together, and singing will be winner against all these situations. Does that have a political angle, do you think? I don't think that it's political. I have a barbed wires in my country. That's a. That's the truth. Yeah, I'm not lying, and I'm not creating any such kind of history or such kind of story.、Mm-hmm. That's a true story, and that's not political because Abkhazian and South Ossetian people are my brothers and sisters, and I, I want to see them. I want to get to them. Is that what the song is about? No, it's <laughs> about the Balkan Wars.、Yeah. Oh my God! I had no idea. No, really. That's what the song is about. Yeah, sure. Oh my God! Have you considered having these lyrics in English also, just to give it a bit more broader flavor? Yeah, maybe, maybe it has a hold it bit. But I want to say that we have barbed wires in my country, and I wa- I don't want to see them anymore. I hate them. These barbed wires or any 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 artificial barriers. I hate them all. I don't want to see them. Anywhere, not only in my country, in all over the world. So I'm against this, this shit. <laughs> wow, I had, I had no. There is、idea. no politic. That's not. Let's move here, Otto. Yes. Yeah, I think the lighting is kinder. Politic is not my job, and many, many journalists ask me this question. I, I want to say to you, Otto Nimsade is against any political messages or something like that. Just like Jamale is against political messages, but we all know those undertones. We all Jamala, know them. Good, good, There was a judge. Jamala, you love Jamala. Yeah, sure. Actually, it's interesting. I have, I have, I have been in Ukraine. It's the voice of Ukraine, also, right? You, I have, I have lived there three years, so I love Ukraine. They are, they are my many friends and many musicians that I love, and they are my friends, so I love this country and I love Jamala. So how do you、Good、feel? About, how do you feel about the situation this year that、uh, Maruv is not representing Ukraine?、Uh, I was in project, so I heard about it, but I don't know what. But what you know, there's there. no Ukraine this year. No, yeah, no, and it's a sad story for me, sad for Ukraine and Europeans.、Uh, but I don't know what happened there, really. I'm, I'm not in business. We've got to talk about your career.、Uh-huh. No, seriously, because you've won Georgian Idol before. Yeah, this is the、so、second what, time. What made you go back in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a one person all over the world who can win Idol twice. Why? That's me. What、no. made you go back to compete after winning it? Eurovision. Oh, you wanted to go to Eurovision? Is that the reason why?、Uh, the producers called me and said me that there is a project Georgian Idol. Hey, I said I have won this project once. Yeah,、time. exactly. Once upon time in Georgia, ten years ago, I had won this project, and they said they the main prize is Eurovision, and all my life, all my career is projects, many, many, many projects. So I want to interrupt this in my life, and Eurovision will be a last one in my life. So that's why I'm here. Apparently, you auditioned for what Britain's Got Talent, right? Yeah, they called for me four four years ago. Yeah. 
and I can't get visa. Well, now that you're a big star, that's gonna change. Yeah. You're just gonna walk yeah. through the gate. Now you will easier. call me and give me visa for yourself. Yeah. Are you looking forward to Israel? Uh, that's a. That was the second time visit when I was here for some shooting. Yeah. I like these people because oh for the postcard yeah for, for, for the postcard yeah I love these people because they live many Georgians in Israel and every week in Tel Aviv they are Georgians 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 I'm going out Otto how are you from the next next uh, they're calling for me and the people from Tel Aviv is really warm and they can do everything for you you are you are asking something they are doing it till the end you know uh, I like this country and before I had a concert but in another city in Israel it was my own concert and I'm loving it in this country too. Do you know some of the great Georgian stars like Tamara Gachachaladze, yeah, Nodiko Tatashishvili, Nina yeah, Sublati? They are all my friends, all my colleagues. What advice have they given you? Because they, they've all done Eurovision and Sofia Nizaradze. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they all advise me to sing from all my heart and that's the, the main is that everyone understood for about I'm singing. <laughs> but we don't speak Georgia. But there how is a video you, clip. So how you will can... you communicate this message with your staging? With my heart. Because is there going to be a staging? Everyone, everyone asks me what kind of uh, singing uh, is that that you're singing? What kind of style? I'm doing. It's a heart style singing because I love deep songs. And this song is one of them. So I can give all my heart and all my soul to listeners. And I'm waiting for yours. It's funny you talk about coming from the heart because in Georgian Idol, when when we saw the clip, um, there was a judge in yellow and she was like, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> she was loving it. She uh, was loving it. Yeah, she loved it. This is a Natia Todua from, from Germany's, I, uh, she won the voice of Germany. Oh yeah. my God! One year or two years ago, we all was for her from Georgia. I don't know why she started dancing on the song. She loved it. She loved it. She was and feeling I, awesome. Yeah, she was feeling it. Uh, but this song is really deep, you know, with its Georgian lyrics. If you know New Georgian, you will understand did, did it. Did you write the song? No, this is not my song. But when you heard the song, you completely there was There was a three songs in final, okay. and we were up four people in final, and we must we must choose one of the songs. And I listened to the first song, the second song, till the end, and the third song was that. And the couple, there was a first time, and I said, no, it's mine, I will do that. And I would, I took it. Yeah. And thanks for composer. That's Roma Giorgazzi. That's a great job, man. Thank wow, you. wow, wow. I've been to Georgia twice. Really? And I don't know you. <laughs> you will come third I'll time. Come again, and yeah. I will be your guide. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you have a message for your fans? Sure, I have a message. The main for me on singing and on stage is that not a high notes or a low notes or some vocal skills for me the main is to sing from all your heart and from for from all your soul i will give you all of mine inside what i have with my singing oh don't give too much <laughs> don't give too much <laughs> only this territory you know okay. only this territory, from this territory and i hope uh, you will enjoy it Thank you so much. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's Otto, and he's singing for Georgia at Eurovision 2019. He's daring to dream, <laughs> and you'll be seeing him on your TV screen. See you later. Bye. Bye.